Well, good morning, you guys. This is going to be a collection of all three days of an epic saltwater adventure with Fish Venice Charters out of Venice, Louisiana. Uh, I did this last week, and I've already posted these videos individually here on YouTube. They're about an hour long apiece, but I'm doing an, an experiment to see if YouTube wants to push big, giant, long videos or shorter one-hour ones, which are already long, but I don't know. Um, so we're doing a little experiment here. If you've already watched the other three, just click off of this unless you just want to watch it again. Um, this was easily uh, the craziest and most fun fishing trip of my entire life. And I love being able to share that with you guys. So without further ado, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at him. Look at him. Tuna, tuna. <laughs> well, if you want to see him, you got to reel him back in. <laughs> here at McGee Tyson Airport at 5 o'clock in the morning and we are flying down to Venice, Louisiana to go on an offshore fishing trip with fish finish charters for an entire week. And uh, I'm tired and somehow my drone charger has decided to disappear and we're trying to figure out how to get one overnighted down to Venice to the fish camp so I can get some cool shots. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a new experience. My buddy Chad's coming along, the other ginger, and uh, we're going to be doing some fun stuff the next few days. Stay tuned. Well, Chad and I are on our layover from Knoxville and we're in Atlanta right now for a couple hours and then we hop on the, the plane to New Orleans and then we drive from New Orleans to Venice, Louisiana. We're looking for fish here but can't find any fish. No fish in Atlanta. We don't have the bucket here. Delta Airlines is for a treat. Well, Chad and I have arrived in Nolens, Louisiana, and we in the, the Hertz rental vehicle, and we are headed down to Venice to do some offshore tuna, amberjack, what else? Swordfish. Swordfish. Red snapper. All kinds of fishing, and the weather looks like, like, perfecto. So we are on the drive right now from New Orleans to Venice, which is like way down this way. And we're just like going down the Delta, essentially, to the boats. It's gonna be a three day long trip. I don't know if I'm gonna split it up into multiple parts or one big giant long video. I guess it just depends on how many fish we catch. We'll see. Either way, it's gonna be a cool adventure. Stay tuned. Well, we have made it down to our destination here in Venice, Louisiana, to the fish mecca, and there ain't nothing out here, like nothing, except fish out that way. There ain't a bunch of Gatlinburg style um, touristy traps, none of that, nothing. These are hardcore fishermen and women out here catching big ass fish, and that's what we're about this weekend. And inside this nondescript building, 
is the most epic fishing pad you've ever seen. This is called the Hooker House with Fish Finish Charters, and they've got two of their boats in here right now, one of the big boys, and they've got a couple other big giant boys that are out on the water. So I'm gonna take you inside and we're gonna look at this stuff real quick. I mean, totally nondescript. You don't even know what's in here. This is my kind of vibe. And we come into this big giant thing, and look at this. There's a million dollar offshore boat right there. We've got an inshore boat. And then they've got another one called the Megatron. If you're a, uh, a uh, um, Transformers fan, it goes right here. Check all this stuff out. Now I'm basically a bluegill fisherman when it comes to ocean fishing. I ain't got any experience at all. But I mean, they have just got the setup. These are hardcore fishermen down here and that's what they're doing. And we about it. I mean, this is just nuts. And these are Chad's buddies. You've seen Chad before on the channel. It's along for the ride. We're hopping in with one of their charters tomorrow. I'm gonna do some filming. May get to do a little fishing, it just depends. Next day, we'll get to do some fishing, me and Chad. And we've got a day after that, we're gonna be fishing as well. But be on these big boys. Have you ever seen 1200 horses? I have not. The before? There's it's 12, wild. There's 1200 right there on the back. This is worth ruining my whole life. I'm afraid to get on it quad 300s this is insane and just inside this nondescript building we've got this 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 mecca of fishing they fish long enough and with enough people to know when like somebody's about looking like they're a fisherman or about being a fisherman and these people are about being a fisherman and we're hopping in the boat tomorrow with um, one of the most well-known guys and most well-respected guides down here his name's Eddie and he's an old salty guy. Haven't met him yet. Chad says he's super serious, doesn't like to cut up. I'll try to get him to talk a little bit. And we're gonna watch him work and maybe catch some fish. But tonight, we're gonna be having food um, at their condo here in Venice that they built for people to come down here and have trips. Um, that's uh, all inclusive, basically. So we'll do a little bit of that. And then uh, tomorrow and the next couple days, we're gonna be doing a whole lot of fishing. So stay tuned, we're gonna have a good time. They call this big bad girl the honky voodoo obviously because it's a bunch of gingers and it stands for white magic yep <laughs> bait board and that's where the tuna and stuff go after you catch them right that's it that's the tuna box what's that bait box extra tuna box extra tuna box and they got sunscreen we're gonna need extra of that this is just wild Some kind of cooler. rigging stuff. Custom cooler. Oh yeah, cooler. Got the Trulies in it. All types of gear. You know, if like the gear section is totally messy, that means it gets used. <laughs> it's very used. Correct, and that's what you want to see. If like all the stuff's too pretty, they ain't catching fish on it. They ain't catching fish. So we've got the the pig sled in Tennessee, my boat with the Yeti poop bucket, and what do we have here? The Yeti bucket. Before we have dinner tonight, we're headed to meet up with one of the boat captains who has been fishing all day and they got a bunch of fish and they're showing up to the dock. And I've never seen tuna in person other than at the grocery store or on my plate. So they caught some tuna, we're gonna go see them. And there's literally nothing down here. This is just like 
full on like Bushman adventure. Like you're going in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing down here except no rigs and fishermen. And trailers. And trailers, lots of trailers. Which is fine, cool, awesome. But like, there's nothing else. And like, that's an adventure. And I think that's why you guys watch my channel because I just go on crazy adventures. And I think this is gonna be one of them. Um, just on more expensive stuff than I've ever been around in my whole life. Uh, and bigger fish, so pretty cool. And that's the boat we're going out on tomorrow. Chad and I are up earlier than dang it, like 3.30, and we getting ready to go offshore fishing today with Mr. Eddie and a couple clients, and uh, I'm excited. Still trying to wake up, though. It was a long day yesterday. I think I got an hour of sleep the night before, and then we went all day from, I got, I got to the airport at 5 o'clock or so, and then got to bed down here at like 10 o'clock long day but we got to see the stuff um beautiful place down here i mean in terms of the water everything else is kind of a butthole but the fish are here and they big they massive and we're going tuna fishing today i guess it just kind of depends on what happens out in the salt water because if you see a bunch of mahi go by you can fish for those and that thing's a mahi yeah so yeah we just drinking some coffee we're getting ready it's day one we're gonna hop on the big bad boy boat, see what happens. I've got just a little bit of camera gear too. Two drones. I got the Dramamine, I got the, the wristbands you wear. I'm trying to get seasick. So it begins. Morning one. Somebody else, so just halfway. And this is Venice Marina where all of the, the big charter boats pull up in the morning. That's the captain, it's our first mate. We'll introduce you guys later. But uh, we, we do a business right now, getting bait. Clients are coming aboard. Have a good time. No good fishing trip begins without the horrible snack for you at the gas station or here, Venice Marina. Boys ready to go offshore? Sure.
the boys and I are already having a good time, and now it's time to catch bait. What kind of bait we catching, Cap? Horn bellies. Horn, horn bellies. bellies. All righty. Fucking horn bellies. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. So we're pulling up to whatever this thing is, and then we drop sabiki rigs down, kind of like catching skipjack in freshwater, except you're vertical jig next to these things. And we got to fill these big giant tanks up for us to run further offshore. Hey, I found the sabiki gold mine. Ah! I hate these things with a burning passion. My job is to film cool stuff and stay out of the way today. Well, these fellas are reeling some fish. Explain what we're doing here, sir. Kind of jigging them up, got drop to the nice bottom. Water. Most of the time they'll hit it on the way to the bottom. Got to hold your lip right. Got to hold your lip right. Yeah. Stick your tongue out of it, I just Face don't look right, not catching bait. And we're just using saltwater style sabiki rigs, spinning style setups, exactly the same way you catch freshwater skipjack. And this looks like about an ounce weight, ounce and a half. And we're out 40 feet already. So basically the captain's bumping us around from rig to rig trying to find these bait fish. And uh, I guess when you find them, there's a million of them. It'll black the screen out, the whole screen is in there somewhere. Okay. That's other bait. That's not what we're looking for. for What's what we're looking for look like? A sounder? Yeah. A blob. A blob of bait? A solid blob. Okay. What are those? They might be hardtails. Hardtails? Can you tell what these are over here? Not no, Eddie's a better person to ask than me. This is my kind of bait rod. There's three eyelets missing at the top. <laughs> it looks like my stuff. Well used. That's what that looks like. So that's what a bait blob looks like. You guys, here are a big blob of them. And just reel it up. Yeah, most time you'll have one on your way down. Like I have one, but I got it on. Yeah, I had one. I had one. There's a bait fish right there. Oh, I missed one. I think I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, baby. Double, double. What are these called? Horn bellies. Horn bellies. Lost one. Get them in the boat, they fall off. Okay. I didn't know what the process was for this. Put the speed gear in the boat. So he's got a deep. drop it. D hooker so we don't have to touch him. I feel like you're setting me up there telling me to drop the bottom of the horn belly. It is literal. This is like an assembly line of fishing. Everybody's got a job. I'm on. Instant. Instant, instant. Gosh, these things bite. Look, he's already rigged to get catch fish. <laughs> he rigged himself. I'm, I'm pre-rigged. Pre-rigged. It's like Thanksgiving dinner, everybody's waiting in line to get food, except we're bringing the food. Yeah. Where are you, bad fish? What's the beeping up there mean? It's a man. Oh. Ah. So they like it on the fall. I like it on the fall. Typically, how many baits do you like to have? 300? Yeah. You got a lot of chum. Okay, you got to chum them. 
And these are these are the tuna baits. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can see this is just got a couple other boats out here. But what we're going to do is for the big boy boats. Like this thing right here. Oh, he's got one. Oh, he may have a double. Double! Take me to the ocean, Chad, and I catch a catfish. That does not count as a win. No. He's self censored, so I don't have to do it later. Cap says, we ain't keeping catfish in this boat. Yeet. Some jellyfish down there too. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm on. I'm on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We're wearing them out up front. Look at that. Two. We got a double. 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 Baby. Am I not supposed to touch them or can I touch them? Okay. I just don't. They just have a little horn on their bottom. Okay. Sounds like something I'd stick in my hand. There's a massive school of them right here. Look at all of them right here. And these are all oil rigs out here, guys. These are the closer in oil rigs. Yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere. I'm on. Yeah, they literally don't care if you just throw the weight right in the center of them. Okay, they're not skittish at all. I just yeet it in there. Yeah, they. They got baby hot too. Mmm. I have the bait. And we got to catch at least 300 of these. Tuna crack. Tuna? That one is right Tuna there. Tuna crack? That's, that's the super. Okay. I need to see me a little dimples here. And then I'm going to cast again. We're pulling up to a slightly larger rig now. They're there. Good God, look at all of them. What are these things on the surface right here? They're different. What are those, Chad? Looks like... Oh, he had three. He got three. He's beat my butt. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, you're good, Mark. What are all these on the surface, Cap? A lot of spade fish. Spade fish? Yeah. Yeah, they are. There's a thousand of them right here. We got the cat catching bait down here. How many thousands of these have you caught? Millions. Eddie, <laughs> million? It's, it's uncountable. Uncountable? Probably about 10 times the amount of skipjack I've caught. We got amberjack blowing up on bait right here, guys. Look at this. Smaller amberjack, 100%. They're just blowing bait up right here. I just got amberjacked. Not amberjack? What are they? Was it big? Yeah. Oh, jack. It wasn't a jack. It was like, like, was like dark color on the top. Could have been cobia. Cobia? Could have been shot. They were like that. Maybe like this. Huh. They were smaller. They looked like. I like I'm a Guggen, but I know there's no amber. I never caught an amberjack as I know. Like, really? It's only like 45 foot of water. Huh. Weird. They were blowing up on smaller the smaller baits. Probably big hotels. Okay. Big blue and they will wreck you when they find you. Yeah, that's what just happened instantly. Bonk. I got a stringer, boys. 
I got a stringer. We can make this faster. Call me the masturbator. Exactly. What's going on with your tip there, sir? It's gone. Got a little problem with your tip? That's yeah, broken. Just gotta wiggle it right. It's broken. Okay. We got five leaks going back here. We got. Was it 350, 357, 1400? We got 1401 horsepower back here. Well, two of us got visited by Amber Jack on our Sabiki rigs and bait fish. Having a retie. All right, raise your pole for me, brother. Raise your pole. No, I'm back in business. I'm back in business. We have successfully caught how many bait stick we got? Uh, Probably 200 or so. 200? We fishing, boys and girls. We fishing. We ready to rock, boys! What's up? What's up? We just did, how long of a drive was that, guys? 68 miles going about 50 miles an hour. And we in the middle of the Gulf. And look at this big heifer. That's a big old oil rig. Who owns that one? I'm gonna let these guys work and get out of their way. All right, now they're getting a bucket of baits ready. So what are we doing right now, Captain? <laughs> What's the name of the game, though? Fancy something. Yeah. Batter up. <laughs> so this is a deep water drilling ship. We're in like 4,000 feet of water, and they get the the drill, I guess, with the pipe that carries the oil up set, and then they bring one of those big rigs, like you see right there, and set it around it. So that's the main, that's the meat and potatoes of the operation right there. I mean, this ship's massive, massive. You can see the pipe that they're pushing down right there. Yeah. That's the pipe going down to the ocean floor, thousands of feet deep. We have sky and yellow fin tuna all over the place, guys. Shit is hitting the fan. Oh, they're everywhere down there. Doing on the bait, Eddie? Yes. Oh, well, we're out. oh, look at them blowing up right behind you. Come on, eat it. Look at them. There's a shark right there, huh? Yeah. That's a, that was a tuna right there. Tuna right here, right here, Chad. Look at him, look at him. Tuna, tuna. Nope. Shark, shark. Shark. Damn. Damn it. Well, it's a big fish. What's it feel like? Large? Feels pretty good. Yeah, yep. look at them up there. Over there. Come on, come over here. Come over here, Daddy. Look, something just happened there. There's a tuna right there. I know. Okay, sorry. Lots of tuna around, but they're not eating our baits. Oh, look at these blow ups. They're eating our baits without hooks in them. 
the Daiwa right there has 60 on it. This one? Yeah. Look oh, at this, look at this. That's a good one. 100 pound too. tuna. That's a good one. Come this way. He's not basically in the water, he's going to hook. Madness. Madness. Chaos. Horse him in there. Yeet. Well, we had uh, about 100 tuna busting all around us, and we missed three on top water, and he hooked this shark. How big is it? I can't see it. Good. Eddie, how big do you think it is? Alright, six foot of my so it's the same as the same one I saw before they played. Yeah. Might have to come up there. That's a tuna. You got him? That was kind of a weird bite. Oh, wait, we're hooked up, Bevel. Whoa, look at that shark. Holy crap. So what kind of shark is that? I don't have any idea. <laughs> Well, if you want to see him, you got to reel him back in. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably just cut the line. What's e Eddie got on back there? I think it's a tunnel, but I don't know for sure. Somebody's got something on back there. There he goes. Are we doubled up back there? No. A lot of fish. Yeah, I hate to So you guys, before we got the camera going, they were tuning and we hooked two on pop top water and missed another one. You getting tired there? Yeah, you want some of it? Sure. <laughs> Take it. Really? Here. Buddy? Got him. It's all you Come here, you big sun gone up here to hook another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just broke off. Yeah. We broke them off successfully, Eddie. Have it on GoPro. Yeah. Quick release. Quick release, quick release. Excuse me, excuse me. Cameraman coming through. Tuna. Oh boy. Here we go. Going. Keep going. Yes, sir. He's picking them up there. I'm going to a highway thing. Yeah, you okay. Very nice, very nice. We had to work today, but he found them. We were actually sword fishing and they started blowing up around us. We get that shark. I broke it off at the boat. It was a five, six footer it looks like. Is that the same one? Yeah. I'm just on your line. We're hand lining a yellow fin tuna. No, not exactly. <laughs> there you are, real. Badass gentlemen, badass. You did a job, guys. Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Don't control. 
Get that raw band. Shoulder high. Shoulder high. But see how you're slacking? Yeah. You don't want that to happen. Keep that tip, bro. I see the colors. We got color, deep color. Get out of the way here. Tuna, tuna! Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, what a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. Got him! Yes, sir! Look at that. Two at a time. Two at a time. As we were literally sword fishing 1,500 feet deep over there on this trench, and tuna started busting all around us after we've been tuna fishing all morning. Yes, sir. Part. We get eaten. Tuna. I'm gonna try not to hook you. Oh, Look at them. Tuna on top everywhere. This one out of Look at him. Right there. Look at him. 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 Look And confusion. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at this. Look at him. Boom! Crazy. We're having to get the swordfish thing in because there's tuna everywhere. Big blow up right here. Giant blow up. They're like just out of casting range too. Crazy. Are you mad scientist or something out here? No, yeah, it's time to rig up a hot gun. See that better than popping maybe. Does that, does that throw a little bit further? About no, but it seems it's one subsurface. Okay. First mate asked me if I want to get some fun on the camera. He means manual labor. <laughs> oh my God. This is abysmal. I'll we'll be back in three years. Show me how it's done. We're marking them. Oh, we got the weight up. Join us. What are these bait fish called again? Horn bellies. Horn bellies. Those are the ones we caught this morning, y'all. Yep. And we. Choming them up for the tuna. Bucket of bait. Going nuts. Look at this. 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 Come on, baby. Come on. Keep on coming. Huh? Right next to the boat? Look at him back here, guys. Oh, oh, yeah. Hooked up on a tuna. Real, you got a real, real. Hold, hold it in real. Don't let it go. I'll get your rod button. Here you go. Tuna on. 
but it's still on. Okay. There you go, you're on. Heck yeah. Get him, boy. Get him. Double. Great. What'd you hook that on, Chad? How can I? The subsurface lure? Yes. He got his first tuna on. What's he feel like, my man? Feels pretty good. I thought Eddie had one on too. I got a shot. Oh, color. Color. We oh, got color, baby. Whoa. There's a bigger one below it. Probably shot to get hit by shot. Doing it, doing it. Too small. On the lure. We got shark. So we are switching gears to red snapper fishing, and there's a pile of them. And they've got electric reels. Because we're lazy. Correct. And it's late. And it's late. And it's late. And the tuna were assholes. Hey, on the bluefin tuna, isn't it a one, once one comes in? It only makes six lives get killed in the golf, six or seven. Right, so that one is pretty strict. Once those six get killed, it's over. Nobody else is allowed. There's a good one. That one looks awful tasty. Oh, oh, good one. Go. That's a big boy. That's much better. Huh? Very nice. That's a good one. How big do they get? A little bigger. You still got a fish on yours, too? Uh, I don't think so. The belly on him. What were we using for bait? That was a hard tail that we were using. Cutting up. That's a bonita. That's a bonita. And we're just doing cut bait for the piggies. Tuna. Chunk of meat. I think that's it right now. That's a giant piece. I'm going to catch a giant snapper. Maybe. Perhaps. Or a 12 incher. Drop it down. Oh. I couldn't get it earlier. Nice duck. Here. Another Ronde. Nice. You do a little video game fishing? Yeah. What we got here? What we got? What we got? What we got? There's the. Whatever that means. Little feller. Little feller. You might be able to do this. These are good, all good ones. That's it. Is that a cobia right here? Is this a cobia? Yeah. Big Kobe. You got the cave hole. You got to keep her Kobe on the cave hole. What do I do? You got to keep him out of the way. What do I do? Keep him out of the way. Hold on.
get out of here. Is that a cobia right here? Is this a cobia? Yeah, big, big cobia. He's got, he's got your cave hole. You gotta keep her cobia on the cave hole. What do I do? You gotta keep him out of the way. What do I do? We're here in the mad scientist room. We're all with uh just a few rods, just a few. Or these for swordfish, deep dropping. Mm -hmm. Wahoo rods, that's a monster right there. That's another mark or swordfish rod. He's rigging up for some mangrove rods for us. And then we're gonna do snapper and maybe tuna today. But it's early and Cap doesn't wanna talk. Day two, just like every other day here, starts with filling this pig up and picking up clients or ice or you know, whatever. And this is Venice Marina right here. And it's just a bunch of hardcore fishermen. Thank you, Jimmy. These are inshore redfish and trout boats right here, bass, whatever they choose to target. And then you've got your offshore fleet. And pretty much everybody knows everybody down here. So yesterday we used a total of 280 gallons of gas. And this is the cool thing about fishing. All these people haven't really met each other ever. And they all just sharing fish stories. Off we go. Got the ruffles. I am excited. The first morning, like every morning, fishing for big fish starts with catching bait. What's 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 he catching right now? Bogies. Everybody's in the zone. Wait, what did you ask? What's he catching? Pogies. What are those? Uh, Menhaden. Like a shad, basically? Brett, saltwater shad? Uh, sort of. We're gonna watch the professional do it. You got a nasty in the bottom of the net right there, a little one. That right there will mess your whole world up if you get stung. <laughs> what is that thing? What kind of cat? Hardtail? No, that's actually a baby cell cat. Baby cell cat. Huh. Interesting. Goodbye. Do we have the baits, boys? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. How big do those get? And for what we're fishing for today, what are we fishing for today? Mangroves, red snapper. These are actually the best tuna ones, though. 
Good for tuna too? Yeah, don't want to stay locked in a long time. First one stay good, uh, okay. Gotcha. Let's see one of them suckers. Let's see one of those guys. Very cool, very cool. Hardtail time. So horn belly time. Horn bellies. Close. I was close. They had heart in it. That is boogies, and then I guess we're putting other ones in there. Do you mix them or does it matter? Horn bellies here or mangroves? What? Horn bellies here or mangroves? Horn bellies. What are we doing here, Eddie? We're tying up to the rig. We're gonna start chumming and wait for the mangroves to come out. Mango snappers, and super tasty boys. The best thing out here. Really? Absolutely. Are they pretty? I put them up. I don't know. Triple tail might be better. Okay. How you cook them? Excellent. Bake mine. Okay. Bake it's like tying below the you dam. Know, you put some fish, but you bake it. You don't think this is nuts? The redfish too. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. It doesn't, you can't taste the nutmeg. It just makes the fish white come out. We lassoed the, the rig here. And basically those, I guess they'll just hang out around the rig and we chum them and pull them out. Yep. And then flip a bait in. Yep. Let me get out of the way. And where I get out of the way is exactly in the way. What is that? Oh, this is a cane pole. So we're gonna cane pole saltwater fish. This is just the kind of yee stuff I came here for. Oh, it's gone. Oh! <laughs> Broke off. What did it just break? What pound test? Dang, just like that? Hit the rig. Okay, so there's a cane pole tournament down here. What day is the cane pole tournament, Eddie? What? August 10th. August 10th and 11th down here in Venice, where you cane pole what fish? Whatever you can catch. Okay. And I'll put a link or something down in here if you guys want to come take part in that. Rigging back up, and he got busted off instantly on 50 pound fluoro with the cane pole. with the cane pole. You excited? Ready. We're gonna watch the master at work here. Is he gonna get bonked or am I gonna get bonked? Oh, oh I got bonked. But I had him. That went in my mouth. <laughs> like 100% circle hook went in my mouth. I'm not going to get up there until you do your thing. No, no, you do it. Come on, right here. Oh, big shark. Get out of here, butthole. No shark for you. No shark for you. Dropping free line cut bait down to the mangroves. That's a big hardtail. That's an amberjack hardtail right there, buddy. If I've ever seen one. Look at the shark. He's wanting to come up and eat it. Hardtail, hardtail. All right, I'm gonna try to catch these people some fish to take home. Just chunk them. Your cutting board's a little crooked there. Yeah. She's well used. She's got character. Okay. I'm about to do this. You should be able to just drop right here. Yeah, stand right on You can stand right on I think I'll get, I'm trying to get it like a video. 
How far do I let it down? Oh, look at all of them. Look at all. He did not want to eat it. How far down do you let it go? I go down. Keep letting it go. They'll bonk it. Okay. Yeah, let me do that so he can have a better spot. Oh, look at all of them. It's about to be risky business, y'all. I'm going to give them the beans. Yeah. They're all, oh, look at, there's 50 of them. Oh, you're on. They are not messing with the cut bait for me. Oh, now you're on, you're on. Get them out, get them out, Eddie, get them out. Cane pole, oh, cane pole, cane pole. <laughs> Eddie on the cane pole. Yes, sir. Look at that. Hold that sucker up for the camera. He just came pulled a daggum big saltwater fish. Look at that. Can I try the cane pole? They like in the live pogies? Yeah. <clears throat> you gonna get you one? Oh look, they're cut they're on it. They're on it. They're on it. Oh. He's running. He's running. Oh look at him. Got him! Got him! Oh. Ah. Pull the hook. Look at all those mangroves. All right, I gotta get out of the way. Oh, she got one. She got one. He's a fighting. He's a fighting. What is that? What's, what is that? That's a giant. Ah! Oh, Bust it off. Eddie! You got a hook? Yes! Come on! I had him out the water. Yeah. You trying to catch one on the hook? I can open three now. It looks good. Look at all of them. All right, guys, come on. Target species. No more hardtails. I want to use the cane pole? Yes, I do. All right. What's, what's my, how do I do this? God, this thing's heavy. I oh, know, it's, it's actually harder <laughs> than it looks. He has a float on this in case it goes in the water. It floats. Negro snapper. What's the limit on these guys? Ten a piece. Ten a piece? She's on up there. Oh, she's got a good one. Got a shark oh, a shark. The tax man is collecting dues. I'm going to go up to the front, Eddie. I think that's a cove. 
Cobia. Cobia, what? Cobia. Gaff his ass. You need a gaff? Hop over here with that Get the Cobia on. Can you hold this? Cobia illegal. Well, hold on, please. You're wrapping it in there. Huh? 32? She's got a Cobia. Huh. Right. First Cobia I've ever seen. Get him! Uh, Get him! Strike on him, Rosemary. Don't let him beat you up like that. He's about to give it up. Huh? She's on the board. She out caught us all on bait. That's going to be close. We don't think this one's legal, but we're gonna net it anyways. Take a picture, Take a picture with it, and you want the net, Eddie? We've been fishing for a total of two minutes here before Eddie put us on them. There you go. You weren't out yet. Nice. Well, since I thought he was Hooks shark. out. Hooks out. That is the first Kobe I've ever seen. Super cool. That's a pretty fish. You may go back here and measure him. Uh, he ain't 36. He ain't. You want a picture with him? Sure. All right. Let me go get my. Let me get Super that. cool fish though. She got her a cobia while she's mangrove fishing, like a pro. Good job. He, oh. It's okay. Oh. All right, he's gonna measure him. Oh. He jumped. Feisty, feisty. See ya. Okay, we got interrupted by the cobia, and I'm gonna retry to do the cane pole. Alright, tell me what are you eating? Eating, eating. Oh, he, he spit it out. You got a bait? They're coming after it. You got a bait in that one? I do not. No, not a phone cable. Cable is not. Oh, he just took it. He took it. Get him. Get him. I see a bait. Don't let him into that. There we go. Got him. One in the box. Still sitting there. Alright. Eddie's getting me hooked up. Pitch it in. Uh, Mark's taking it. Yeah. Take it. Right. How do I do this? Is this a J or a circle? J. You gotta pull fast. Oh! Oh! New guy on the pole. Newbie. Oh, they're hitting at it. They're hitting at it. You better be ready. They made it. Hey! Hey, got his ass! <laughs> you ain't got nothing yet. Yeah. That was epic. You want to try it, Jeff? Yeah. You need to try it. I won't try it. Oh, I'm good. The cane pole. They'll rip your arm off. That was fun. The cane pole's a loose. Cane pole. I don't you. in the box. We're going to call this thing Excalibur. Oh, that's a damn meat stick. Meat, meat stick. stick. Yeah. I like the meat stick. The meat stick. What are you guys fishing with today? The meat stick. The meat stick. We're going back to the chunking. I worked up a sweat. This damn, this damn mangrove bit the hook. He won't let the hook go. Oh, don't let your finger go. Well, trust me. He's trying hard. These things get crunchers on them. Yeah, let me dead back. Okay. I, I won't turn that down. Let go of the hook. Oh, he got him. He got him. Oh, I tried to take him in the rig. Straight to the rig. Straight to the rig. Yeah, but he's still alive. He's getting Mark. Hey, go, sir. I'm back in it. You want to try it, Chad? Do the cane pole, Chad. Go bonk. Oh, oh. What? We got some bonking about to happen. All right, Chad, bonk him to death. It'll definitely fire up in a pose. 
Chad choked up on the cane pole. Swing and a miss. They are fired up. Fired up. They ripped that pogey in half. Look at that shark. Oh, you're getting chased. Oh, oh, you almost had the shark. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Jack Craval. I'm trying to get away from the shark and the jack. I don't want to waste my time. They can't eat. Uh-uh, I'm on the bank grow. Oh, we got the jack fired up. Do the pitch on that thing on the old cane pole. Oh. Cane pole, cane pole, cane pole, get him, Chad, get him, get him, get him, get him, Chad. Oh, that's a better one than mine. <laughs> on the cane pole. <laughs> oh, he's on, he's that's on, an he's on. An Another mangrove. Oh no, oh no, he got shark. Oh, he's shark. Shark. No, he's not shark, yeah. No, he's shark. Okay. He shark. <laughs> he's definitely shark. He's shark. <laughs> definitely shark. The tax man has collected dues. Okay, he's in a little bit of them. Alright, he threw the dead one back in there. They're still coming out on it. Yeah, they look at it, look at it, look at it, they won't probably leave. He's down, the shark's down below it, unfortunately. Meat stick, putting meat in the locker. You got eaten. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Shark's right on your butt. Shark's right on your butt. All right, he's gone now. He got him. Yes, the meat man. Yes, <laughs> Very nice. We're cane pulling. Oh, you're on. You're on. That was quick. Let me throw it over here. Oh, big shark. Is that a cobia right here? Is this a cobia? Yes, yeah, a big one. Big cobia. Jumbo. He's got. He's got your cane pole. You gotta oh, keep her Kobe on the cane pole. Oh, what do I do? Smoke. You gotta keep him out of the rig. What do I do? Keep him out Bring of the rig. Here. Hold on, let's get him close to me. Oh my God. Keep him out of the rig. Can you raise don't it? Hang on, don't, don't go down. Let it, put it down. Oh! oh dang it. He'll bite again. He'll bite, He'll bite it again. Bite it again. Bite it again. That was sick. <laughs> I was like, is that a Kobe? Eats my bait. <laughs> You ever seen that before? Not on a cane pole. <laughs> not on a cane pole. <laughs> Let's go. I've seen it, but not on a cane pole. <laughs> All right, that was epic. First freaking Kobe I hooks on a cane pole. That was cool. That one's a cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. We should. Like, Should have changed. Is that a cobia? Yeah. And then I was like, he's got your bait! He's got yeah! <laughs> Colby on the cane pole. All right. Maybe some Did I do anything wrong there? No, it was a line because oh. it was great. You hooked him on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the I can't help that. You gave me a cane pole. <laughs> he chumming them up for us. Oh, yeah. Fish Venice, if you want to come do some dumb stuff. <laughs> cane pole cobia. Cane pole cobia. <laughs> you saw it here, folks. We got yellowfin skying in a hundred feet. Eddie, you using a J hook for Mr. Chip? Yeah. Uh, for the for this angle. Yeah, tuna, tuna, tuna. 
I just saw him right there again. Yeah. 100%. Boom! So we were fishing in 15, we were fishing in 4,000 feet of water. No, we saw tuna sky right there. No, no, no. no it, it, oh. They skied in the hard place. Oh, gotcha. Misunderstood. So they're hitting hardtails? Yeah, that's what they blew up right there. Yeah, we, both, we both saw the same. Yeah, I saw, saw another one out here. Okay, I saw a big grande right, right there. Uh, it could be a spinner. I saw yellow fins. Okay, well, I'll watch it. Mangro on, mangro on. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, mangro. Mangrove, mangrove. We fill in the box. Got a couple Bruce Rosemary Rosemary got a one. Huh? Okay. Ooh, the leader. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit wonky in the leader. I bring it to you guaranteed fun. We got him dangerous in there. We in the danger zone. Yep, yep, yep. Eating, eating. Oh! Oh! You're rigged. You can get him. You can get him. Oh, you almost got him. Oh, she got him. Hold on to her. Hold on to her. You gonna get sharp? Get him. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Jeff, you're going to lose her. Ah, fish. Happen. Got him. Go. Professional. <laughs> How's that elite? has got to be made. Professional. All right, Jeff. Jeff's going to get one. Jeff's going to get him. We got sharks. Ah! <laughs> ah! Coleman got me in the eye. I got chum in my eye. You got a clean towel? Yeah. My bad, dog. You're fine. I don't care. Okay. Unchummed, I repeat, we're unchummed. We've hooked a shark. We want the shark to break the line. Get out of here. Get out of here, you sharky boy. You just hold him there, Jeff. You gonna show us how it's done again, Rosemary? <laughs> yeah. You gonna catch that shark for you, Jeff? Yeah. Bro, we take his rod. Okay, all right. And you oh, a off. lefty? This is so backwards. Yep. Good. Broke him off for you, sir. Watch out, watch out. You got one. Oh, one water. Water? I'll get you one. Uh, there was one in the seat. Uh, we got beers. I was ahead of you on the water. I had to take a break. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Fish. You want me to do it? Yeah. All right. Can you get me a, a bait? About to do some dumb stuff again. Go for it. Where's the Kobe at? No. Where's the Kobe? What is that? The Kobe? Yes. Set the hook, Mark. <laughs> He's on the table. We going up yonder with a meat stick. With the meat stick. 
I wish I would have successfully landed a Kobe on the cane pole. That would be cool. I need a bait. That would have been cool. It was right there. I got to eat on camera, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was like looking straight down and I was like, is that a ca is that a cobia? And it ate it. <laughs> Alright. I've moved the meat stick to the front. And now I will try to catch a hardtail. Or pogey. Get here. Give me a big old pogey. Come here. This is hard. Give me a minute. Let's look at this. Oops. I might have came home. You stole your bank? They gonna hook him like a gizzard. True to nose. Alright, here we go. I see him down there. The hardest part's setting the hook. Oh, they're trying to get it. They're trying to get it. Come on. They've wisened up. They've wisened up on me. Yeah, oh, they're all over it. Game pole. Game puller. Cane pole. It's not a cobia. Cane pole. Okay, not a cobia this time. That one fought a whole lot less than a 30 pound cobia. Right here. Thank you, Chad. Trying to behind the back hit. Do it. Okay. Let me learn y'all this technique. You gotta get a good little lob and you put it right next to the rig and you put this sucker underneath your arm like this. And you gotta watch for that bobber to Damn. Ate me instantly. Ate me instantly. Retry. Retry. Okay. Yes, yeah, nice little lob right here. I'm gonna get it. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Oh, they're all over it. Got it. Ripped me up. Ripped me up. Little, ah, little jack. Ah, oh, I caught a jack. Shark, shark, shark. Oh, God, they're chasing us so fast. Get out of here. No. A jack crawl. That's my first jack ever. I know this is a goober fish, but I would like to take a picture with it because it's my first one. Jack Craval on a cane pole. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, Miss Rosemary. That's pretty epic. Are Jack's good for a snapper bait later? Uh, I'm gonna have to have flyers to get that one out. Eddie, can you come up with a hook? 
I'll jack that guy. Uh, I'll clean your... We keeping him for snapper bait? I'll clean your, I'll clean your, your deck once you get the Mate, Corbin's gonna do it for us. He's gonna cane pole it. All right. All right, buddy. See what you get. It's hard sweeping that way because there's rods in the way, but. Oh, oh. Oh. Have you caught one on a cane pole yet? No. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up here with you. When I was hooking them, I could only get them to eat like next to the thing. Where at? Yeah, it's thrown. You can like horse them out as soon as they hook, like flip them in the air. All right, yeah, I see him down there now. I see him. Ooh, almost got him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Kind of hard fishing with a 20 foot pole. Oh, he's really sinking there. Like this side right here. Yeah. They're all over it down there. Oh, did you get broken? No. I'm gonna get out of your way. Here, I'll go get you, bait. Here. Get you one. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna stand down here so you can swing better. I got in your way there. I'm roasty toasty. I had the hardest time getting them to eat it, other than like right next to the rig. Yeah, they'll, they follow it all the way out, and then they just go right back. Risky for the biscuit. All right. You get shark? Shark? I don't think a shark. They got all three sharks down there. Yeah, you'll get eaten now. See, yeah, he's just staying away from that rig. I know, man. Little butthole. Go get eaten, buddy. Go die. It's hard to swing right there. You start hitting the rods. Next to the big Jack Craval on it. That's a big jack. Cap's showing us how it's done. No, probably not. Whiffed. Dang it. Jack. God, get out of here. Oh. Wrecked. No, God, he hit it. Something hit my freaking hook on the way in. Maybe. Thank God. He got me. I was trying to cup the spool. Didn't work. Ah, 
no. That was a really delayed. Oh, I didn't. You're not allowed to turn around. Yeah. I yeah. He's right here. My first big jack. Heck yeah. yeah. I cranked the drag down as tight as it would go on this thing. I didn't let him turn. <sighs> that was some work, Chad. My God, that's a heifer. Well, that's a gigantic jack. How, how big is that in terms of jacks? Like decent? Decent. It's not a canal tuna level? No. Not even close. Well, that's the biggest one I ever caught. And the first one I ever caught was in a cane pole. We're out here with the, the man, the myth, the milk legend, Eddie Berger, with fish finish charters. And we're just wearing out the big mangroves. What are these? Mangrove snappers. Mangrove snappers. This is my first big one. I caught several other ones today, but this is a good size one. They told me I'm new to all this. Look at them teeth on them. Look at them teeth. Going in the box. Oh yeah, I caught a giant Jack Cravel too. We got a few. A few. A few fishes today. And we're just getting started. So we, uh, we were running to that shrimp boat up there to get bait from them we're gonna go up there and try to catch some bonita and then captain saw this thing and there's a possibly a yeah, I mean, keeper a triple triple tail or two underneath it fantastic <laughs> came pulling a triple tail possibly this could be one of those fantastic triple tail catches i've ever seen well that's what they do over here they came from a lot now really Purpose. Well, I almost came pole the cobia. We're gonna try to came pole a triple tail now. Cane pole triple tail. Shrimp. We caught one shrimp earlier. Oh, he pulled it all the way up. Not a big one. He got it in his mouth, Danny. Oh, he, he got your bait. I need another bait. Another newbie. Bait, bait, bait. I got bait. it.
put a shrimp up to get some bait. We're gonna catch Benita behind the surface. We're gonna catch Benita behind it? Yeah, we're gonna catch one. Hmm. So the captain's throwing a few chunks of cut bait out, chum, just to see if any come up. I'm trying to catch Bonita or snapper bait, red snapper. Is that the snapper we're going after? Yeah. Yeah. We're just checking. I don't see anything on the Get it on the nipple. Look at that. What a cowboy. He, he did. <laughs> like a pro. The boss is talking shit. Yeah. When this doesn't not. work out, we know what you should do. Uh, yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We caught a bunch of uh, snapper, red snapper with the electric reels. We're here trying to catch a tuna at this oil rig. Out super deep. Eat it. Eat the bait. 
Eat the bait. The marlin chasing a bait out here. Come on, let's catch a marlin. Got one yet? Right here? No, we had a couple. Of them. All right, so we got a, a jig, snap a slapper, snapper slapper, a pogey. We're taking this thing and shoving it through his head. We're shallow water snappering right now. It's pretty brutal. 300 feet earlier trying to reel them up. 46 feet. Yeah, we're only at 46 feet. I'm gonna let her sing down. Well, let me show uh, show the screen so yeah. know what it looks like when we find a few. There's a few. Couple on, the Couple on the screen. Two or three. All right, I'm on the bottom. And now I'm just going to jig the bottom like I'm Keep walleye up. fishing, basically. You got to go up too soon to your rosemary. You got to go up too soon to your rosemary. Just kind of smack them around the boat. Oh, we got one. Oh, baby. That's what we want. Come on up here. Yeah! Uh, we didn't want to that. Come on. Come on. I have a butt on this thing. Oh yeah! I got him with both jigs. We caught a few fish today. Not bad. The gold shrimp? Okay, so we've had a crazy day of fishing, and Eddie doesn't like talking on camera, but I'm gonna force him to tell him about yourself. Whatever, I'm tired. I'm tired too. This is Eddie. I'm tired too. Okay, so this is Eddie Burger with Fish Finish Charters. Um, he's the OG of OGs down here with tuna fishing and all this other stuff. And I was lucky enough to come out here with him, and he doesn't like talking about himself, so I'm gonna talk about him. Tell us why you like this. What well, made you do this? I was in college and realized I needed to get a job. Okay. Two years ago. And I was, shit, what am I gonna do? Well, I already know how to fish, so I fish my way through college. And I finished college, got a degree in history, and decided I, I didn't want to go to law school anymore, and I kept fishing. 22 years ago. And here we are. And here we are with a bunch of seagulls shitting on my boat. On a million dollar boat, no less. Come a long way since college, Eddie Burger. Oh yeah. Anything else you want to say? Not really. I can't really talk a lot. He just catches fish. So if you want to do that, you're gonna have all the information you need to call these guys down here and set up a trip at the lodge and go fish with him or the other captains. But yeah, been a fun couple days. We got lots of seagulls. Seagulls eating our carcasses. So here's the no fun part of this. They got to change. And I say they, cause I ain't doing it. You don't mind. <laughs> the oil and all four of those things. 
And by they, I mean Chad and Casey. Gigantor boat. I'm gonna catch an alligator guard right there. Okay, so Casey, how tall are you? Yeah. Those are large engines. I'm doing a little, you know, change right now. <laughs> Behind the scenes work. Did you get it? Yeah. Did you use a wrench? He barely yeah. even turned it. What? Uh, Wussy! He didn't even really front. I didn't know fronting. The boat tried. Now it's time to change oil filters. Everybody never stops. Everybody sees all the big fish, they don't ever see all this. This is after everybody's fished 10 or 12 hours all day and got bait ready in the morning beforehand and then they have to come do this now. It's morning three. It's just the boys going fishing today. Not a charter. We're just gonna try to catch some big ass fish. Get Let's go. We'll do uh, captain introductions here in a second. This is the second captain here with Fish Venice. These are the boys. We'll do introductions later. It's still dark. We got the super deck hand trick on the boat. They're down. Yep. We're late.
Day three begins like day one and every other day out here on the offshore game and any other one where you're chasing big fish, we are getting fresh bait and we're catching porgies with a cast net today, I believe, right? Yep. And uh, we got a little bit more uh, offshore captains out in this area today. And we got the sun arising. There be porgies uh, jumping right there. And it's just beautiful. This man right here is about to throw some pancakes. How long is that? How big is that net? 14 feet. 14 feet. Good God. I can barely throw my 10 foot for Gizzard Shed. <laughs> Probably because I don't ever throw it because I hate catching Gizzard Shed. But. Cat bonked a few on the first day. It's not like he's been out here doing this his entire life. First day on the job. Second, isn't today your second? How long have you been out here doing this? Um, been fishing my whole life. Been uh, charter fishing for six years now. We'll do more talking when he ain't trying to catch bait because that's super important, but yeah, we're going to get on him shrimp boat coming in and the birds know where the food are at and it's right there you got to load her back up alright pump me forward Definitely a team game. You got guys running bait, guy driving the boat, guy throwing the net. Takes a crew to do this. You can see the bait all dimpling the surface, just like shad in freshwater. Fog is been aiding, whatever you want to call them. Pancakes every time. Oh, that's going to be a heavy one. That's going to be a heavy one. Loaded. Loaded down. Loaded down. Let me try not to fall here. Let me try not to fall. And that's the bait we use. Let's see one of them. There's a croaker in there, too. There we go, baby. 
Tuna candy. Look at that thing. Holy shit. <laughs> Very nice. We eating good tonight, boy. Got them baits. No, you do not get a, get the you do not get a free pass here. Not on this boat. Not on the side piece. After just a couple pancakes, we were loaded up on bait. Uh -huh. he, he's ready to get the heck out of here and go catch some fish. All right, Cap, explain to us what we're doing as much as you can while you're working. Try to throw out a good handful of them. What's that right behind us right here? A hammerhead shark? That's awesome. I've never seen one of those before. Guys, I'll probably have to do most of the talking here, and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So if you're an experienced saltwater fisherman, just know that I'm not, but these captains are you know, busy working and stuff and they can't really talk. So I'm just gonna try to summarize what we're doing. And we're doing the bucket trick now where we get these tuna to come up off these rigs right here. They're down deep, about 200 feet, and we throw these freebies up, which are these. Okay. Let me go set up. To get them to come up so we can get them to eat our stuff. And we've got a hammerhead that's wanting a free meal that he knows he's gonna get. The old bat trick. shove it in going that way we threw some freebies out and we've got our bait out within that spread and this team will hopefully come up and smack this sucker quick we've been here five minutes already got an eat my man told me to throw the popper so I'm throwing the popper Can I throw it at those? Oh. Got one, got one, got one. 
There you go. What'd I do? Hook up with a tuna, baby! First one! Holy crap! Oh, it's going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good now? I'm still on. There you go. Good work, Cap. Huh. Saved our ass. Oh yeah. Rob up. Yep. Alright, you on? I'm on. Nice. Blistering runs. I'm about to pee my pants. There he goes again. Now, I don't know what gets your adrenaline going, baby, but an oil rig pumping, pumping a flamethrower in the air and a giant tuna on the line will do it for me. We're switching off. I had to pee. What a fish. That's our fish down there at 210 feet. Chad's pumping on him. I'm going to get back in the game. You let me know when you want to take him back or because he's just coming up now. Chad's getting them, boy. Chad's getting them. <laughs> Baby, she digs. Nothing like a freshwater fish, nothing. Nope. Not even close. There we go. Let's go. And you're starting over. <laughs> Holy crap. We got him up to, how many feet deep was he, Captain? 20? 30? 
Went back down to 150. What a butthole. Switch out. Tag team sport, baby. Tag team. What's uh, what's your technique for what you're doing right now? Are you Are trying to keep his head turned? Yeah, you want to keep his head turned and keep it spiraling up. Okay. As soon as you let them turn around, they do that run again, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like never ever stop. Put okay. Pressure on. As soon as you do, that's when. That's they when they get. That's when they get their breath and they're gone. Epic. The more Trent Jones you have on the boat, the better you are. Okay. <laughs> that's the theory. Country boy strong. He's getting them, boys. We got color. 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 Got him. Got him, boys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Boy. He didn't get charged. I don't know what happened. I see that big sucker. Woo. Got a knife. Tuna in the boat, boys. All right. All right, baby. Oh, no, no. oh we on? No, no, no. Shark. Dad got it. We got a hammerhead on. We got a hammerhead on. He's going. Oh, here we go. Another one, baby. Baby. Nice one. What a drill rush, we can photo. Now you gotta bleed him like a catfish. Oh my god, boys. Let's go. Woo! Yes, sir. Out of way, Cap. Nice job. Thank you. Tuna everywhere. Hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Hundreds of tuna. We're hooked up. We got poppers throwing. I'm trying to get the camera going. This is madness. This is what you come to Venice for, guys. This is it. This is it. We got one hooked up. I can't breathe. All right, I'm gonna try to get on the popper while these guys are doing this. Where you guys want me to come? Oh, I got the real 40s ready to go. We can't go through the small box. Okay. Want a popper? What a frenzy. What a frenzy. Hundreds of tuna. Hundreds. Look at him, look at him. They're just out of reach right now. Just out of reach. Incredible boys. <laughs> Tuna back there, monster. We're just waiting for the popper fish to come up again. They came up on all that cut bait, all the dead bait. Get him, boy. Woo. The big boys are screaming. Popper fish. Hey, 
Am I working this thing right? What? Just pop like that? Too hard? All right, I'll do one more cast and I'm coming, guys. Coming up all over the place over there again, 12 o'clock, 300 yards. Look at him. Look at him. Look at them all. Come on, baby. Come on closer to Mark. Come on. Get up here. Look at them. They're coming close. Got a fish coming up on the gaff. We got a gaff fish. He coming up. Yeah, baby. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Fish. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get him, boys. Heifer. A little bit more, a little bit more. You almost got him, Chad. We're to the leader. We're to the leader. To the leader. Keep his head coming, keep his head coming. Oh, You've got him, boys. A team effort when you're dealing with these monsters. Fish of a lifetime right here. Fish of a lifetime. That bait's running for its life right there. That bait probably thinks this tune is after. I'ma hide near the boat. I'ma hide near the boat. Got a reel right there at the end. Move it real right there, right there. Close. Up quite high enough. Got him! That last bit right there. Way to go, boys! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! That was. The last bit right there was a little tough. In the boat. You're making it harder on than you had to, Jay. I was trying. In the boat. I was so tired, I couldn't. In the boat, down. baby. Got away, Cap. Nice job, guys. Woo! Using a couple live. Careful, you're wrapped on your reel. They're right here. Cast at them. Two or three. Right. Keep going. You want to fight one, cat? You get to do it often? I just fought one a second ago. All right, all right. I mean, I'll take him for a second. Rookie will do it. Oh, I'm sending the drone up, actually. Tracy, get in the game. Get you in, boy. in the box and I was about literally six inches from crashing the drone on the side of the boat it wigged out wouldn't move left or right so we had to go underneath it while there's wind and current pushing us around and we got baits out 
try to land it and Chad had to catch it and then we had to pull the battery out so it would stop flying but we got the footage it's pretty nifty Whew. all right so we're catching some AJ bait right Oh, are those good? Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Well, he just caught us a bonita for bait. Oh yeah. Snap a seal. Hey, shut that. Are you on? I'll jig for you. I'll shut it too. All right, I'll get it. Yeah, jig. Drop it down. Probably it's a jig. It's not really heavy enough. Yeah. 
What pound test are you using per liter? 150? 150. You're bleeding everywhere. Let's see the bait we're using. Big hoagie this time. Big hoagie this time. Let's see if we can get a jack. Give me some slack on that. Deploy the pogey! 20 ounces of lead! It's really loud here! Goodbye! Down to the depths! Right there, gonna get eaten. He turned the engine off for us, thank God. I had a migraine. Made it worse, never mind. He's leaving though. We'll have better audio for this one, guys. Ideally. He's getting us right back up in it, in the danger zone. I mean, these are some giant fish down here, you guys. How big do AJ's get? Uh, over 100 pounds. Nice. Uh up with a giant AJ. Gosh, this is heavy. <laughs> you wanted them. <laughs> I did. I didn't hear any of us this morning say, hey, we're going to go every day. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It was like the first time I came offshore, we went snapper and amberjack fish. I caught my first amberjack I caught. It was the best thing in the world. That's the yeah. I was like, yeah. Dad, we gotta go catch amberjack every time. <laughs> I remember he put down a bait like that big. I'm like, nothing's gonna eat that. <laughs> boom! And then, boom! I'm like, oh! <laughs> Top shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just kidding. Just. You said that. Oh my gosh. This thing took like a lot of drag. How much top shots on this thing? AJ, get tired. Oh, okay. okay. He's trying to dig on me. Oh, my God. Get up here, you big bird. come off no damn it not the long distance release our hook pulled that wasn't me I didn't mess up Looks like oh, yeah. it came untied. It did. I mean, I'm not going to say anything. 
150 pound leader game on top here y'all can fight the first half of the next one <laughs> <laughs> no no you got to get the full effect of it i got the full effect <laughs> round three we'll fight goodbye fish 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 Go. Oh, hey, hey, hey. it's still going oh we're still going All right, we went way this far outside the rig. That's a big one. That's Looking a big one. Trying to find the cheeks. Trying to find the cheeks. I ain't fighting this one after yeah, what you I- you got it. You got this. Are you kidding me? You got this. this is, Mark, this has always been your I'm green, still moving green. forward and he ain't moving, so that's definitely a fish. Fish for sure? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna find him in the gunnel for a little while. Is that cool? Uh oh, here we go. Is he going? He about to go? What a fight. What a fight. Uh oh, he's going. Made a little line, made a little line, made a little line. All right, we got someone brave enough to pick it up out the gunnel. Oh, this Tapachica? Yeah. Don't know. I, I just fucking dug down. That's Couple of brewskis going on. Get him, boy. Trent's going. That's real. Yeah. When Trent says he's big, he's definitely over 30. You big? Can you tell yet? Definitely big. Definitely big. I'm a cool. <laughs> How big was the Alamico? How many pounds is that thing? 20. 15. 15, 20. That thing pulled no drag. This thing yeeted some stuff. Oh, yeah. Pump them up there. I'm tired of looking at you. <laughs> Explain your technique on how you're fighting them there because you're doing it way different than I was. Well, you're kind of like bending down with your legs and pushing up. Yeah. We got leader. Or we got top shot. top shot. We got 300 more feet. Get him. Get him. We getting close. We getting close. All right. I want to take him for a minute. <laughs> Get up here. Rip a little further out with your left hand. What'd you say? Rip a little further out with your left hand. Up here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's a whole lot better. Yeah. More leverage. And that's what that does, though. How it bends down in the, when you're fighting one in a harness. Yeah, bend down and come up. Every you're lifting something or pulling it up, you try to you use your glutes. Your arm and your, and your back. You, know. you squat and stand and squat and I'm tired. <laughs> Almost there. Have you ever caught a catfish so far? Right there? Hell no. <laughs> you know the funny part is? The furthest I've ever caught a catfish in the Gulf? No. Right here. No. What kind of catfish? Blue cat. What? Now, these fairy was swimming in circles on the surface about to die. Like, oh, yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, I was like, yo, look at that. Whatever gapped him. I can't believe he got out here. Yeah, oh, I know. 
<laughs> I was literally like right here. Hooked up to a AJ. To an AJ. You get tired and want me to crank. I think this one's a pretty big one here. He's trying to dig on me. <laughs> Holy shit! Right. Um, hey. Yeah. What do you need? Just a uh, gaff so I can whip them. I got him. You got him? Yep. Coming down. Nice. AJ in the boat. Woo. Look at that horse. Holy crap. Swallowed. Look at that horse. Probably get it out. Okay. There's my first AJ. Woo, baby. That is the craziest fighting daggum fish. Holy crap. Took two of us. Monster. Monster. Right, you want to take a photo? We're going to release him. Fish ass? Yep. Bucket list number two crossed off for today. First tuna, first amberjack, first, what was the other one? Almaco. Almaco jack, which we can eat and keep. It's amberjacks aren't in season, and these guys have got them locked in so well here at Fish Vance that when the season starts up, when does it start? I don't even know. They change it every year right now. Well, whenever it starts, is it August? I feel like Eddie said something. Like that. So whenever that starts, it's game on. Like, you drop down, you're getting bit. Like, most days. That was nice. We had the big tanker up there. He said, come fish. And he pulled out and let us catch that amberjack. Now we're going to let him finish his work. He gets the homie award of the day. <laughs> yep. Now we're going to crack a couple brewskis and go try to catch some snapper. Yeah, sharky bite. Well, we uh, we had a bunch of tuna go nuts, a marlin that we may have hooked to jump, and we just loaded up on snapper. Didn't film it because we're all tired and ready to make it happen. Not bad for a fun fishing day, eh, Captain? No, not at all. Not bad. And we stopped catching tuna at the first spot because we didn't want to clean anymore. And we just went uh, to catch some cool stuff after that. And now we clean the tuna. You can tell this guy does this every single day. Well, the fish are successfully cleaned. We're all worn out and about to have a heat stroke. And that's going to cap up this adventure here with Fish Finish Charters. Thank you, my man. Thank you. We're out. Awesome. Well, links and everything will be... Right. In the description, they come do this. I'm gonna stop talking to him about to pass Fish out. Fish finished charters. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, sir. Yes. The no fun part. There we go, baby. How oh, cool. What did that take? Twenty minutes. <laughs> It's like a tenth of what actually happened. Right. Yeah, look, this has been an hour. Well, welcome back to Knoxville, you guys. That was easily probably one of the most fun. Let me turn my glasses off. We got a glare. Easily one of the most fun and exciting fishing adventures of my entire life. And that was my first time down there to Venice to fish with Fish Venice Charters. Now, I'm already going to tell you right now, I've got a week planned in October when it's prime time tuna season to go back down there and chase the big giant 100 plus pounders. 
So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do some inshore stuff with bull reds, possibly alligator gar, and they have really big blue catfish there in the Mississippi River Delta. So all of that you can expect in October for me to go down there and do that, weather and water conditions and everything else permitting. So. Thank you guys for coming along in this adventure with Top Knox Fishing. I'm your host, Mark Cooper. We fish with Fish Finish Charters and Captain Eddie and Aaron. If you guys want to go take this trip of a lifetime down there, you can click their website link in the description below. And these guys are really the best in the business. Good people. They love fishing. And you're going to have a blast, whether you want to do snapper fishing, tuna fishing, uh, amberjack fishing here very soon. Uh, they've got inshore guides for redfish and trout. So really the entire gamut of freshwater fishing and saltwater fishing down there, they can do, and they've got the nicest lodge to stay in in the whole area. So I, I would really, really, really push you guys to get some buddies together and save up and go do a trip like this and look at it as you're going on this adventure out into the wild and you're going to be fishing with these dudes who are literally cowboys like that's what they are they're cowboys of the ocean and you're gonna have a blast so thanks for coming along with me hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below if you want to see more saltwater videos and i hope to be able to do some more in the future we'll catch you later